Hey, it's Greg Torres. I'm out here in Sanibel Island and I saw this plant as I was walking to the beach and I knew what it was so I wanted to come back and get it when it's actually looking good. And what we have here actually is this beautiful white flower. This is Ipomia alba. Some people know it as moonflower. They call it moonflower because it's blooming in the middle of the night like this. It's a typical Ipomia, which is a, a morning glory. It's in the Convulvaceae, Convulvaceae family of plants, the morning glories. It's a tough word. Um, interestingly, most morning glories, most people know they bloom early in the morning and sometimes by midday they've already given up the ghost. This one gives up the ghost during the day and actually starts to bloom off in the evening. So it's got the heart-shaped leaves, kind of like a lot of uh, morning glory family of plants. What else about it? It's very fragrant. It smells really good. You can actually see some nectar drips right along the edge. It's white like this and oftentimes white flowers are attractive to moths, which again at nighttime a lot of moths are out at night and so it makes sense that this would be white, fragrant, to attract the moths. You can see a lot of pollen here in the stigma is this little piece sticking on the end here. Interesting about this plant, it's in the tropics, it occurs in the tropics natively. So here in South Florida it makes sense that it grows here but it's also in South America and Central America as well. Now in Central America this plant has proved very useful. The sap from this plant particularly, Ipomia alba, was mixed with another plant sap, uh, Castilla elastica the panama rubber tree if you mix these two plants it actually forms a really good rubber uh, the rubber tree sap alone doesn't it's not very soft so mixing the two saps actually occurred uh, 300 years before uh, goodyear figured out vulcanization the process to uh, process rubber artificially you can grow this plant as an annual in the north. Oftentimes you can get the seeds from it and it grows as an annual. It likes short day photo periods so it blooms when the days are short. So consequently this plant if you're growing it in the northern climes it will only bloom like late in the summer heading towards fall and then it kind of dies because it's not very cold hardy. So there's a number of flowers here, and you can see yesterday's flower here. A lot of insects are attracted to it because of the fragrance. All right, there's a small little moth kind of dancing around it in the light right now. Very beautiful plant. It grows as a twining vine. So it kind of twines up things. It doesn't have tendrils. You see there's a number of blooms, and you wouldn't even know it unless you came looking for this plant at night. So again, moonflower, Ipomia alba, grows in the tropics primarily, and gosh, it is so gorgeous. Oh look here, we've got a little ant, of course. Anywhere there's nectar, ants are usually around.